I'm super hot today, and part of the reason for that is because I've been moving books. So, because I sort my books alphabetically by author surname, it means when I finish a new Agatha Christie book, and it doesn't fit on the shelf, I have to move all of my books on all of my shelves across to make space. So that took me 25 minutes. And now I'm filming. So, hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be doing the favourite childhood book tag. So this was created by Anthony Andrews, and he also tagged me in his original video. There are eight questions, and we're going to do this. So, question one, what was your favourite book as a child? So, there were a lot of these, but the one that sprung to mind was George's Marvelous Medicine by Roald Dahl. And I think the reason this sprung to mind is because... When I think of childhood books, I think of Roald Dahl, and this was probably my favourite Roald Dahl book. I actually once tried to make a marvellous medicine of my own, and I ended up with this concoction where if you sprayed it with deodorant, it would make flames. So I don't know what I'd put in it, but I remember that, I vividly remember the flames, <laughs> and I would have been like four or five years old. I think it had bleach in it. Yeah, I was a bit of a crazy child. Question number two, what was your favourite film as a child? So, mine would be Wayne's World 2, specifically Wayne's World 2. I actually didn't see Wayne's World 1 until I was like 17 or something. But Wayne's World 2, for some reason we just had it on VHS, you know, back, back in the day when my parents would use, you know, cassette tapes to record programmes off the television. So it had like the adverts and stuff in it, but they'd like stopped when the adverts started and pressed record again when they finished. So, uh, and yeah, I just used to watch it over and over again. I used to find it hilarious. And in my year six leavers assembly, so that's an assembly when you finish primary school at about the age of 11, everybody in the year does like a giant sort of talent show thing. And the thing that me and my friend did was we reenacted the leprechaun scene from Wayne's World 2, where it's like, I'm the leprechaun, don't try to steal me pot of gold. Which is interesting in hindsight, because at the time I didn't realise, but now I realise that was Mike Myers pretending to do Leprechaun, and then I pretended to be Mike Myers pretending to be Wayne pretending to be Leprechaun. This got too confusing. Question number three. What was your favourite song as a child? My favourite song as a child would be Earth Song by Michael Jackson. So, I was a big Jackson fan as a kid. I actually went to see him at Wembley Stadium before they redid Wembley. So it was in about 1996. And his security guards pushed me over because he was walking through the crowd for some reason. This was before it was revealed that... Well, the accusations, let's put it like that. I don't really know what happened in the end with that. He, he sort of... He popped his clogs, didn't he? So... But uh, yeah, an Earth song, I re particularly like that song. But I also, as a kid, I used to rewrite like popular songs. But Earth song, I rewrote that about me and my friend being bullied. So it went like, what about Ashley? What about Dane? Summon, 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 summon causes pain. Because it was about me getting beaten up in the in the playground. Moving swiftly on, question number four. What was your favourite television programme as a child? Probably Scooby-Doo? I don't know, it's a tough one. Because, like, well, we didn't have satellite TV or anything like that, so we didn't have things like Cartoon Network. So I only had, like, whatever happened to be on Channel 4. And then later, Channel 5 came out, and uh, there was Milkshake on Channel 5, and they played lots of cartoons, and so, yeah. But Scooby-Doo, Scooby-Doo's badass. Question number six. What was your favourite author as a child? So, based on the sheer number of his books that I read, I think it's probably R.L. Stein, and this is A Night in Terror Tower, which is basically what happens when these American kids end up at the Tower of London, except it's not called the Tower of London, it's the Terror Tower. And yeah, I just read loads of Goosebumps books. I actually did a video a little while back, I'll link to below, where I did a tour of my Goosebumps books. R.L. Stein is my second most read author behind Terry Pratchett is number one, number two is R.L. Stein, number three is Graham Greene, number four is Stephen King, and number five is Agatha Christie, I think. Question number six, what was the worst book you read as a child? So, I actually can't remember any. Right, I'm gonna say Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson. But the reason is, is just because I never finished it, so I technically DNF'd it. But I didn't hate it, I just never got around to finishing it. Like, I did read Oliver Twist around about the same time, and I enjoyed that. 
Like, I only tend to remember the books that I enjoyed. I don't remember the ones I didn't enjoy. Question number seven. What what one character from your favourite book as a child would you like to meet and become friends with? So, bearing in mind that I said George is marvellous medicine, I think it's going to have to be George. His grandma was awful. I'd like to meet her and push her off a building, but... Maybe his granddad wasn't even in it. My choices are basically George, his mum, his dad, or his grandma. So I'm just going to say George. <laughs> and question number eight, tag a friend. I'm going to do one better than that. I'm going to tag several friends. Friends. So I'm just looking at, okay, I'll tag Bald Book Geek. I'm going to tag Jay Shay. I'm going to tag... I'm going to tag Emily Boone. I'm going to tag Harriet Rosie. I'm going to tag Alyssa from Pucks and Paperbacks. I think that'd be a cool one. I'm going to tag uh, Minx Laura 123's Wacky World as well. Shout out to Laura. Um, and we also I tag Todd the Librarian because I know he likes his tags. And I'll tag you if you're watching because that's the final cop out answer, right? Right. And anyway, on that note, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more. And I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.